Hey, what's up guys? BB Stats here, 360 Trick Spot. Here to bring another Adobe After Effects CS4 tutorial and also in Sony Vegas 9.0, I'll be teaching you how to make a 3D watermark. So, you also notice it's similar to the 3D spinning text, which you can find right here in the bottom left hand corner in the annotation. So, click that, check that out, and that's how you make that. And, uh, I'm going to be showing you what to do different. So, right now we're I already created a new composition. So, now we're going to create a new text layer. Now we're just going to type in subscribe. And I got the pixel at 50 so you guys can see it pretty well. And now you want to create a new layer, another new solid. And it's white. So, we're going to drag it under here. Now we're going to cut this off down here, the eyeball. Now we're going to select the white one. Now go to Effect, Simulation, Shatter. Now at View, we're going to put this on Render. And go down to Shape. Put that on Custom. And go to Custom Shatter Map and pick your Subscribe thing. Or oh, you can insert whatever text you may like. And so now we're just going to go to Force 1. Put that on 0. Force 2. Put that on zero. And basically right now all I'm doing is walking you through just a quick rundown on how to get your 3D text going. Then we're gonna put the gravity on zero. So I'm gonna go down to the camera and just preview this right quick so I can show you what I have. So right now that's 3D. And you can also make this a little thicker. So you wanna go up here, extrusion depth, and I'll bring that up to about 40. So that's what we have right now. Now, this is the key part that you need to make it in your video. Uh, now you're going to go to Layer, create another new solid. Oh, I hate these laptop mouse. Okay, now you're going to create another new solid. And now you're going to make this uh, lime green, bright green. Basically like a green screen. And now you're just going to drag this in the bottom. So that's what you have right there. So if you want this to spin right now sorry I kinda jumped ahead of myself uh, let's go to um, select the subscribe actually the white layer then we're gonna go on the timeline right now and go to your camera down here and we're gonna put this on let's say about right there and we're gonna press the stopwatch and I'm also using the Y rotation right now I'm going to move forward to about three seconds, rotate it around some more, then go to go to the end and just ah no, I'll go back and rotate it again. So that's what we have. Basically, it keeps rotating. And you can also, you know, set your timeline spaced apart so it can stay on certain certain stuff, and uh, you'll see the text longer. So you can probably spin it around, have it pause for a second, and spin it around again. But I'll add some details on that later. So now I'm going to open up Sony Vegas 9 in a second and show you what to do to add it to your video. All right, so now I'm just going to show you how to actually put your 3D watermark in your video that you just created in Adobe After Effects. So now that I have Sony Vegas 9.0 Pro open up, I'm going to show you what to do. So drag your media clip in or whatever video you want. Um, right now I have some sniper clips that I have. And then I'm just going to drag in your subscribe or whatever text with the green screen. You want to drag it in on top. Here, so that's what we have and right now as you can see it overcast the video let me mute the audio track it overcast the video right now so what we're gonna do is select the event effects tool and you're gonna add chroma key so we're gonna press add and press ok then we're gonna uncheck the box uh, pick the little eyedropper pin dropper thing and now select the green screen and click the box again so now that you can see we can actually see the subscribe thing over the video so I'm gonna drag this out and let's see what we have so far let me open this up some more so we can actually see this so 
See, so we actually have it spinning on the video now. So, what we're going to do is, this is where I usually put it at. Uh, I'm going to go to pan and crop. And I'm just going to pan this uh, into the corner down here. Or wherever you want. I'll say about right here. And you want to hit right click maintain aspect ratio. Switches. Uh, maintain aspect ratio. So you can move it around everywhere. It's not so cut off. So that's what I have right now. And let's see how this looks. So I'm going to cut this up and hit um, RAM preview. So you can see what it looks like. And delete. 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 So we're going to select this and tools. Build RAM preview. Dynamic RAM preview. So, as we can see, we're, that's rendering up now. And again, you can also add anything you want. And it's pretty cool to do. It's a really nice effect. That's the reason I like Adobe After Effects and Sony Vegas. Those are like my two favorite programs. So, I'm going to play this in a little bit. And you can also just drag it out to repeat it. So, you don't have to make the file in uh, Adobe that long. Because you can just drag it out in Vegas. So, let's see what we have right now. Let me take this audio off and turn it down. And that's pretty damn cool. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, video requests, feel free to message me. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. And until the next video, peace out.